okay so students be like uh, like be very attentive and be very focused because today we will be doing numerical parts like see money creation is something basically the question will be coming directly okay whatever we are studying today two questions will be there in your uh, uh, weekly test okay so be ready whatever i am teaching you over here okay everyone just unmute and say yes ma'am we are ready and we are fully focused just say yes for the acknowledgement yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am Others only three yes. What about others? Maria, my yeah, she wrote it down. And others, who was missing? Drov, Adib, Heba, Heba. I guess she answered. Others, Drov and Adib, clear or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, totally. Okay, good. Uh, Seth is. I don't know. What is facing? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Seth, you are here. Ma'am, I'm Adib. Okay, Adib. Okay, okay. Yes, I was just asking whether you people are getting it or not. Yeah, I was just asking for the confirmation. Okay, student, let's just start. So the very first part is money creation or credit creation. Okay, money and credit. These are the like you can call it money creation or the credit creation. Both are the same thing. Okay, see. Through the process of money creation, now what is money creation? Okay, yeah, what is credit creation? The first we will define this. Through the process of money creation, commercial banks. Okay, the commercial bank are the local banks. Okay, so you don't just remember this word commercial. Commercial means the local bank. Maybe you have your account in any of the bank. So that is commercial bank. There are two types of bank. One is RBI, who is the head one. Okay, then we, we will get to know what we call them. But commercial bank are the local banks where we, where the local people. See, we cannot go to RBI directly. Okay, because that is like head apex of the banks. Okay, that's in the same way we cannot. Commercial banks are the banks where we go directly and where we do deposit and everything. Okay, clear. So now, if what if someone will ask you what is money creation, you will say through the process of money creation, commercial banks are able to create credit. Or you can write over here, create money, which is far excess of the initial deposit. See, students, whatever I am teaching, whatever I am doing right now, you have to be like uh, fully focused. Why? Because there are few. I have hope everyone is having their dictionary. So just remember whatever I am teaching you. Why it is important? Okay. So through the process of money creation, commercial bank are able to create credit, which is far excess, which is far excess to the initial deposit. Now. The term is initial. Okay, this is the term initial. So initial is first. What is initial? It is first. For example, see, in a you went to school. Okay, for the first month you paid the money, like the for the first month. So that is your initial, uh, payment. Okay, so initial word means first one, or you can say starting. Okay, clear. So initial word. Now, if anyone will ask you, initial means that means the first one or the starting. Okay, so initial word means first or starting. If I'll ask you, for example, you opened a bank account. Okay, and firstly you deposited something. That the first transaction you made, the first deposit you made, that deposit will be known as initial deposit because that was the first amount which you deposited in the account. Okay, for example, uh, you uh, there was your papers. Your boards are coming. Okay, the very first exam, the first exam you will be giving that will be your initial exam because that will be your first exam. Okay, clear, everyone, clear with the word initial. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now we are <coughs> sorry through the process of money creation, commercial banks are able to create credit now. There are two words. One is credit, and second one is debit. Okay, D E B I T. Okay, my note, uh, my writing pad is you know a little bit uh slippery or something like that, so it's unable to. I'm like it is difficult to write, but I'll try my best. Okay, so one word is credit, and another word is debit, which is D E B I T. Okay, so now debit credit means credit always means plus, and debit always means minus. Okay, so credit always means it is a plus one, and debit means it is a minus one. So that means whenever I will give you money, 
whenever you are there will be there will be an increment in your money that is known as credit and if there will be if you will withdraw the money that will be debit if there is addition in the money it is known as credit if there will be deduction in money that is known as debit so deb de for deduction and de debit means deduction and credit means plus so what you can write in your notes credit you can write credit that means plus you can uh, make a mark plus whenever you will listen the word credit that means addition of money but whenever you will listen this word debit that means money is deducted that means subtraction of money money is being deducted from your account clear everyone yes everyone yes, just acknowledge yes ma'am yes, because ma after 2 minutes i'll ask you these terms what is initial what is credit what is debit okay and commercial bank these are the normal bank where we where we have the bank account so basically we have given the name commercial bank we can also say bank but bank are of different types so commercial bank are the banks where we like where we have the bank account where normal people can go and opens their account or everything that is commercial account okay now there is another word over here which is excess anyone who knows the meaning of excess anyone too much yeah definitely so excess is basically too much okay so too much okay so excess is too much extra you would say ex for excess and ex for extra too much okay so now what this definition is all about i am just repeating the terms again students first we heard the word commercial bank commercial bank are the basically the local bank where we open our accounts okay then uh, credit uh, this word credit okay credit credit means plus whenever there will be addition that is known as credit and the opposite one is debit it means subtraction then we heard the word initial initial means first or the starting okay and excess means too much clear everyone yes yes teacher okay so i'll randomly ask someone and you will okay so first mariam tell me what is uh, initial just write in, in the chat box heba what do you understand by excess it means too much yeah good amos what do you understand by debit teacher debit means decrease okay good great adip what do you understand by credit um, credit means increase good uh, khushi what do you understand by commercial bank uh, ma'am they are known as local banks yeah. where we where we not the local bank basically the bank where we open generally yeah. local people can go and open their account yes. okay okay, yeah. okay. Uh, who is left uh, 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 dhruv dhruv what do you understand by initial i don't know mm -mm -mm. you were not there in the class no oh, no I, my i just went for a minute so it's not here okay okay so yeah basically initial as uh, mariam told it is the beginning or the starting so i'm dhruv i'm again repeating these terms because see if these terms won't be uh, like you won't be remember these terms then it will be difficult for you to learn the definition so again i'm repeating first one is commercial bank okay so the commercial bank basically these are the see bank are of different types we have we can also mention banks but we have mentioned commercial bank that means we are the common people C O W L M. Common people can go and open their bank account and can do withdrawn and take loan, whatever they want to do. Okay, so common people can visit these bank. Common where common people visit that is known as commercial bank. Then the other word is credit, which means addition of money. So if, for example, uh, a message popped on on your mobile screen, ten thousand rupees credited in your bank account. That means ten thousand. a uh, 10000 am amount of money is credited added to your um, account but the same way it was written 10000 uh, rupees 10000 debited from your account so that means it was withdrawn that was a subtraction for example you have 50000 in your account so 10000 are deducted now the balance is 40000 okay and the other word was excess excess means too much okay extra ex for excess and ex for extra clear dhruv everything okay so quickly uh, whatever i told you just quickly just give me the meanings starting from commercial just me tell me what is the meaning of commercial commercial bank bank for uh, common people 
yeah okay credit uh, credit is uh, getting uh, money is getting added to your account good debit it's uh, taking money from us hmm deduct deduction of the money yeah yes. uh, excess between too much hmm initial starting yeah starting or the first point for example i uh, see you open your account in the bank <laughs> sorry in the bank and whatever the first transaction was there that is known as initial okay and for example if your board exam are there and you got the date date sheet and i asked you what is the initial exam so you told me ma'am english is the initial exam that means the first exam we don't use initial word in our daily life it is always used in the uh, banking line or whenever we go for bank and all that but just to give you an example we can use initial clear everyone uh, 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 just a minute okay i hope it's clear yes teacher okay so uh. just quickly I I hope everyone is writing all these terms. You can also write these terms in your notebook, or if you think like you, uh, it is more superior to write in your notes like that dictionary. You can go for it because all these things will be coming again and again in the chapter. Okay, so now just start to learn. Like now we will understand the definition. What is money creation? Through the process of money creation, commercial bank are able to create credit. That means they are. creating extra money for example you deposited 10000 rupees and the very next month that 10000 rupees were converted into 20000 rupees so they are able to create the credit that means addition of money which is far excess which is far excess of the initial deposit that means which is too much of initial amount for example you deposited 1000 rupees in the bank account and the next month it is 2000 rupees so that is excess now that is Excess of initial, you deposited one thousand rupees, but now they created that one thousand rupees is turned into two thousand rupees. So that is excess. Excess of what? Excess of initial. That means whether one hundred rupees extra, that will be an extra like addition in the ad initial deposit. So it is a process through which banks are able to create credit, and that credit is always excess. of the initial whatever was the initial deposit the credit which they will be creating it will be excess like it will be more than the initial deposit everyone got the point yes yes ma'am yeah so if someone ask you what is money creation you can tell me you can tell them money create <laughs> money cre or you can write it like this money creation is a process through which commercial bank are able to create credit which is far excess of the initial deposit or you can write like this through the process of money creation commercial bank are able to create credit which is far excess of the initial deposit so these are there are three lines first you can write like this money creation is a process through which like this or through the process of money creation whatever you feel like if you want me to repeat i'll repeat that line also uh, what is that money creation is a process through which commercial banks are able to create credit what commercial bank are doing they are creating credit and that credit is what less than or uh, more than so which is far excess than initial deposit if you are not uh, far more than you can also write this far more than more of more than then you have to write more than the initial deposit if you are writing excess of you can write like this or wait just a minute Okay, if you don't want to write excess of, you can write more than, more than. Everyone clear? Yes, teacher. So yeah, here also as I told you, you can write the, the money creation is a process through which you can write this, or if you want to write like this, you can write. Okay, so I'm giving you one minute. Just write it down.
Done. Done, everyone. Yes, teacher. Everyone, please confirm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I hope everyone is writing. Nobody is taking screenshot because see, if you people are taking screenshot, it's of no use. Why? Because if I'm giving you time to write, just utilize it. Why to waste your another one hour in write making notes? So I'm giving you time and see if you will and do follow that rule. Whenever you are making notes, read it loud and that will definitely help you if you really want to score well. Because if you will score well, na why we people are here to learn and to score well, right? Then I I want every one of you to score really good marks. So we like you have to follow all these things. Okay. So now quickly we're moving to next term, which is L R R. Okay. So what is L R R? This is a what legal reserve ratio. Okay. It is of two types basically, like two types. I am not telling you the types right now because that we will be doing in the bank chapter. But remember, in our next class, whenever I'll ask you L R R is of how many types, you all have to answer because next. In our next class, we will start with banking chapter. So uh, here it is two R, right? So that's why it is of two types. Okay, remember that. So L R R stands for legal reserve ratio. So see, for example, what we did, uh, we deposited one thousand rupees to the bank. Okay, and then after depositing it, we thought our duty is done. So from these one thousand rupees note, uh, sorry, what bank will do? One, he'll get loan. Okay, loan and one will be L R R. Clear, everyone. So one thing is bank will give loan to people. You deposited one thousand rupees. Bank will do two things from that uh, your amount. He'll give loan and he'll do L R R. Just a minute. Clear. So loan. I hope everyone is aware. Okay. So we will study, but what is LRR? LRR is basically it is legally compulsory for the bank to keep a certain minimum fraction of their deposits as reserve. Okay, this fraction is called legal reserve ratio. Now, see, you, I deposited one thousand rupees. Okay, so it is you know compulsory for the bank, every bank that whatever deposit was there. The some amount of that maybe twenty percent, maybe ten percent, maybe five percent, maybe thirty percent. That that RBI decides. Okay, so it is legally, <laughs> sorry, it is legally compulsory for the bank to keep a certain certain means any minimum minimum. Everyone is aware of the term minimum. Anyone who wants to answer, what is minimum? Small or less. Uh, Pardon? Least. Or less. Yeah, least one. See, in exam hall, whenever you go, there is one. One is minimum marks, and one is maximum. Right? Everyone aware? One is minimum, and one is maximum. So minimum is that. For example, your paper is of hundred marks. Minimum you need to uh, get thirty thirty three marks to pass, and the maximum marks is hundred. Okay, nobody will be exceeding from hundred. But if someone will be, uh, you know, if someone will not get thirty three marks, then he or she will be fail. Okay, so this is what minimum. So, for example, if I'm getting, uh, if I if bank is getting one thousand rupees, so RBI decides ten percent, maybe twenty percent, maybe thirty percent of this you will be uh, giving like that will be reserved with the RBI. So whenever bank feel like that they need money, they go to RBI and they ask for the money. So but is this is legally compulsory? No bank can say that we will not, uh, you know, we will not provide you this or we will not give you this. This is what every bank has to do. Okay, nobody will say that no, we we will not provide you this or we are not going to put any reserves like this. Okay, so LRR is it is legally compulsory. It is compulsory. No matter what bank you are, and remember, commercial bank do this. Commercial bank have to put some ratio with the with the things. For example, you got one hundred rupees. Somebody, some relatives come to your place and they give you hundred rupees. You know, somewhere it is compulsory that this this amount is need to be given to your parents. Like okay, they ask you to give a money to them or something like that. Okay, so that is legally compulsory for the banks to keep a certain minimum. 
okay minimum they will tell that 20% you have to not less than 20% like this okay certain minimum fraction of their deposit means minimum fraction of their deposit whatever deposit they got whether 1000 rupees 2000 rupees that percentage of that maybe i can say maybe what i can say i can say 20% of 20% of what 1000 rupees okay so 20% of 1000 rupees or i can say 30% so whatever deposit it is percentage of that you have to keep with rbi this fraction is called legal reserve ratio clear yes teacher yes, everyone khushi heba yes ma'am yes ma adeb say yeah. others getting it yes ma'am okay great so now you can write it down if someone will ask you what is legal reserve ratio you will say legal legal reserve ratio it is legally compulsory for, for sorry for the banks to keep certain minimum fraction of their deposit as a reserve this fraction is called legal reserve ratio or you can say legal reserve ratio are the legally are the compulsory minimum fraction of the deposit of reserves which commercial bank keep it with that whatever you want to write you can make it your definition Everyone done? 
Yes, ma'am. Your students, whenever you are done, you can just unmute and say, "Ma'am, done," so that I can also get to know. Okay. Everyone done? Only one or two students are done. Yes, ma'am. Done. Uh, LR done. Only the password is only minimum. Who is not done? Dhruv, not done. done. I'm done. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, students. Basically, these are the two terms. One is loan. One is deposit. Okay. Loan is basically the sum of money that one or more individuals or companies borrow from bank. Okay. Individual is basically the person. Okay. Individual means people. Just manage with my uh, the start. Okay. People. Okay. So individual means people or companies borrows from bank. Okay, so loan is sum of money, one that one or more individual. It's not compulsory that only one person will buy or one company, one or more. Okay, one or more individual or companies borrow. Borrow means they are taking <laughs> borrowing something. Borrowing means like when we go some when we ask someone for money. For example, you don't have money right now. You went to your father and you told that I need a hundred rupees. Please give me. Hundred rupees. I will return it to you. That is borrowing. It's not. For example, you went to your father and told me, "I need hundred rupees for going out." See, whenever borrowing means taking money from someone and you have to return it. When you are not returning your money, that is not a borrowing. Okay. Whenever we ask our parents for money, we don't return them, right? So that is not a borrowing. But borrow means that you are taking money from someone and after a certain period of time, you will. Uh, You know, you will pay back. You will give them their money back. That is borrowing. Clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. If you want to write this borrowing word, you can write it. Borrowing is something taking, uh, taking. It's not about only money. Taking something from someone and uh, returning it to them after some time. Maybe I don't have pen today, so I borrowed it from my friend, and I ask you tomorrow. I will return you this pen. That is also a borrowing. Borrowing is not only in the case of money. That is, if you borrow a money, that is known as loan. Clear, everyone. So loan is basically sum of money that one or more individual or companies borrow from where they are borrowing. They are borrowing from banks. Okay. Now deposit. What is deposit? A sum of money kept or placed in the bank. Whenever you keep certain amount of money to the bank, for example, I have ten thousand rupees today. I went to bank and I kept it there, or I placed it there. That is my deposit. So a sum of money which is kept by money, or that is kept in money, kept or placed in a bank account or with banks, that is known as deposit. Clear, everyone? See, we keep money with bank. See, there is a difference, okay? With banks. Okay, but in a bank account, with means bank are keeping it with them. But in a bank account, that means you, for example, you gave me money, so I told you told me my money is with Sanya, ma'am. Okay, but where I'm keeping that money? I'm keeping that money in my wallet, in my purse. So you will tell, you will say, my money is with Sanya, ma'am, in her wallet. Got it, everyone? Yes, ma'am. So, a sum of money kept or placed, you can write with bank or you can write in a bank account. You cannot write with bank account. No, with banks, but where they are keeping it in a account, right? So, in a bank account, or you can write a sum of money kept or placed with banks in a bank account. You can write like this as well, whatever you feel. So, you can just write everyone. Loan is borrowing money. Whenever someone borrows money from banks, that is known as loan. But whenever Keep whenever someone keep money with bank that is known as deposit. So these are the opposite. Loan is taking money from bank and deposition is keeping their money there. Clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so quickly write it down.
everyone done yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so quickly we are revise just a minute okay i'll just erase it because it will create confusion okay quickly we are revising money creation is money creation is basically what is it is a process through which commercial bank are able to create credit which is more than the initial deposit okay your money creation your whatever money you will be creating whenever whatever money bank will be creating it will be always more than the initial deposit whatever was your initial deposit it will be more than that then legal reserve ratio these are the ratio these are the fraction which like it is a compulsory thing which you have to which the bank have to keep as a reserve with rbi or any other thing that is known as legal reserve they have to it is compulsory okay and these it is decided by the rbi whether you have to keep 20% 30% 40% they will decide loan loan is the amount of money which companies or individual individual means people people or companies you can lie right if you don't want to write individual borrows from bank borrows means they taking they are taking it from bank okay and they will return it after some time borrowing means taking something from someone and returning it after a time period deposit is sum of money kept or placed in a bank account with banks okay clear everyone till here yes ma'am okay so basically see what is the function of bank basically they accept the deposit and they do give the loan these are the functions okay but what other things they have to do one more thing they have to do is they have to basically what they have to do that is lrr everyone is aware of that na lrr right so yeah. these are the two function which they have to do but this is the one time okay they don't do it all the time this is a, these are the functions of commercial bank now students this is going to be the changing strategy okay i hope today i'll just judge you people whether you people are good in maths or not okay so be ready for that okay so this is the table which everyone everyone will put an heading over here money creation okay and students draw this okay don't draw this table okay i'll just explain you then you have to draw okay just a minute just try to understand this table just observe this table and i'll ask someone randomly what you observe observe sorry
Okay, I hope everyone observed this table. Anyone, any idea about this? What is return? Like, what is this? Anyone? Okay, we are subtracting. Okay, Miriam. Any anyone else who want to try? Uh, Ma'am, the deposit amount which you are giving, which you are depositing in the bank, mm -hmm. they are deducting twenty percent of it, mm -hmm. and giving the rest of the amount as a loan. Good, very good. Who was answering? Um, Adit. Very good, Adit. You did this concept in your school. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Very good. Okay, yes, student. So this is what the scenario is. Basically, I told you three things: bank deposit, bank give loans, and one more thing, LRR, which that the compulsory thing. Okay, so here a bank has given twenty percent of the LRR. Okay, twenty percent LRR. So for here it was the first deposit was one thousand rupees. Okay, and bank told the uh, like the commercial bank the RBI told the bank that twenty percent of this, twenty percent of your initial deposit. See, I have written here initial because this is the first deposit. Okay, so twenty percent of the one thousand you have to keep it a reserve. So now, how we will do it? We will write this. Everyone, you are aware how to take out like this. Like, for example, you have to take out twenty percent of one thousand. I am just, uh, I am just uh, writing it over here because you have to remember it how we have to write. See, percentage means hundred. Okay, so whenever it, there will be written percentage, you have to think it is a hundred. So we will write this twenty. Just a minute. Okay, so basically. Initial deposit was one thousand, so twenty percent of one thousand. So how we will take out twenty percent of one thousand like this? We will write twenty upon hundred multiplied by hundred. Okay, clear everyone? Oh, sorry, multi twenty percent of one thousand. Eh? That means one thousand. Okay, so twenty percent means you have to write twenty upon hundred. And off means multiply, and thousand is thousand. Everyone clear? Twenty percent of one thousand, like twenty upon hundred. Twenty is twenty. Percentage will be down. Hundred off means multiply, and thousand is thousand. So then we will solve it. And how we will solve it? See, two zero, two zero. Clear? Basically, twenty multiply by ten will be remaining. That is two hundred rupees. Everyone got it? How I clear out this thing? How I did this? Everyone, I want answer from everyone. Yes, I'll re-explain it. Don't worry if you didn't get it yes, because this yes, everyone got. Anyone who didn't get it, like how I uh, did this, like twenty percent of this thing. No doubts, man. Okay, great. So see, I'll just give you the questions after this. Then you have to take. Out. Okay, so this was like twenty uh, percent of ten thousand means two hundred. That means. Two hundred rupees they have to keep as with the bank. So what I did, two hundred rupees I kept it, and what I did, I subtracted. One thousand was the initial thing, and after that, two hundred rupees I was uh, like I have to keep it with the bank. So how much money is left with the bank? Eight hundred rupees was left. I subtracted it. Okay, so eight hundred rupees I can give as a loan. One thousand was the initial deposit. This is the compulsory thing which I have to keep it reserve. So twenty percent it was. So twenty percent of one thousand. Two hundred I was able to keep, and rest how much money was left with the bank? Eight hundred rupees was left with the bank. That is, they can give as a loan. Everyone clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, I hope everyone is clear. So now I'm just giving you a question. Just write it down. Hmm. Uh, just give me the answer of twenty percent of eight hundred. Twenty percent of Eight hundred. Everyone, just solve it and let me know. You can solve it in rough page because I'm I don't want to. Be. Yeah, just a minute. I'll ask you people. Then you have to reply.
Everyone done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dhruv, yes, what is your answer? Not audible, Dhruv. Ma'am, one sixty, ma'am. One sixty. Yes, ma'am. Twenty percent of two hundred is one sixty. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Heba, what is your answer? Sixty, ma'am. Okay, good. Everyone, is there anyone who whose answer is different from them? No, ma'am. No, no. Okay. So how we did this? We did this like this. Twenty. Sorry. Oh, my notepad is you know so irritating. Okay, how we did? Twenty upon hundred. Off means multiply eight hundred. So zero and zero cancel out. Twenty multiply by eight, one sixty. Okay, this is how we did. Okay, great. So basically, what was the thing? This table now people will be able to get this table in a good way. Okay. Okay. So initially, what you did? You deposited one thousand rupees. I told you, see, you will do only one deposition. You will deposit only one time. Okay, and after that, they will create the money with themselves. How? One thousand rupees you deposited, two hundred rupees like they have to keep a reserve, and eight hundred rupees was they were able to take uh, give loans. Okay, somebody visited the bank and took the loan. Okay, took the loan of eight hundred rupees. Now that person, what that person will do? That person took the loan of eight hundred rupees, and that person will deposit it, right? That person will deposit this money to some like not the same bank, maybe some other bank. Right, so he went to the bank and he deposited eight hundred rupees. And the same process. Now, what is the initial deposit? Now, eight hundred is the initial deposit. Okay, so eight hundred out of eight hundred, this is the deposit, new deposit, fresh deposit. And out of eight hundred, twenty percent of eight hundred you have to keep it as as a reserve. So twenty percent of eight hundred was one sixty. You reserve it, and then you subtracted eight hundred minus one sixty. Which you are able to give the loan, okay? Then somebody else will take the loan, and that person after taking loan, what he will do? He will throw out all the money. No, he will go to some bank and he will deposit. So he went to the bank and he deposited it, and out six forty was there. Twenty percent of six forty is one twenty eight, and you subtracted six forty to one eighty. That means you were able to uh, give five hundred and twelve rupees as a loan. Okay, so this is how the table is, and after this, you don't have to just keep a gap and just do this dash 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 over here dash 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 same dash 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 and over here as well dash 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 draw this and then just mention here total five thousand loan four thousand one thousand see how much money you deposited you deposited one thousand rupees and bank were able to make this one thousand rupees. Five thousand rupees. Do you believe? Can you believe it is a magic now? You deposited one thousand rupees. Because what bank did? It created the money, and now bank have five thousand rupees with them. Everyone got this? The table? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone got it? Because this table is very much important in exam hall. You have to. Nobody will give you this table. You have to create it with yourself. And it's not compulsory. You have to take one thousand. You can take ten thousand rupees, and you can take over forty percent or twenty percent. It's your wish. Okay. So everyone just note it down. This table, just draw it.
uh, you can let me know students when you are done done ma'am done ma'am done ma'am okay great i hope everyone is done okay let's just start with the new thing not new thing of course the same okay students now the question is you must be asking ma'am how came like how did you know that this was the deposit like i see you can see here it was reducing right it was 1860 of course it will be like down over here but how come you know that it is 5000 okay so how i came to know this is a formula formula is basically this is the formula just note it down everyone if you want to find out total deposit this is the formula total deposit equals to initial deposit multiply by money multiplier now i will explain you what is money multiplier first note it down total deposit equals to initial deposit multiply by money multiplier okay done everyone okay so the next formula is money multiplier if you want to find out what is money multiplier this is what money multiplier see everything has a magic right for example i am making a uh, 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 for example i am making maggi okay so maggi in that that masala is you know without that masala you cannot cook that maggi masala is very much needed right if you are making anything right for example if you want to make juice maybe you want to make orange juice orange and oranges are the most important thing so money multiplier if you want to multiply your money then money multiplier without multi money multiplier you cannot multiply your money so this is the most important thing now how you will find out what is how much money multiplier what is money multiplier so the formula is 1 upon l r r okay everyone has, i hope everyone is written have has written the formula So now I'll explain you how to do that. There are two methods. One is one upon L R R. Okay, so L R R is basically we have L R R equals to twenty percent, right? Twenty percent. So what you can do, you can write twenty percent like this, twenty upon hundred. I already told you in the previous thing, right? So if you will solve it, it will be like zero to zero cancel, and it will be zero is here. So basically, you'll put a point over here. So the answer will be zero point two. Everyone got this method. Everyone, any doubt? No need to feel silly, ma'am. I am not getting it. How to do? Just inform me. I'll just repeat myself because these are the basic calculation. And if you will, ah, uh, like if you will not do this basic calculation, it will be difficult. Let me know if this is not clear. I'll re-explain. See, it was twenty percent. How you can write twenty percent? Twenty upon hundred. I told you percentage is all about hundred. And I solve it zero to zero. It was cancelled, and it was two upon ten. So basically, whenever we have a, a zero down there, we put it a point. So it was answer was zero point two. Everyone got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anyone who didn't got get it, and it's like, ma'am, no, not getting it. Can you please see? Explain. I'll do that. Everyone. Got it. Okay, and there is some other way. For example, it is one upon L R R. Okay, so what I wrote is one upon twenty percent. Okay, so it was one upon twenty upon hundred. Okay, then it will be one will be here, and it will be multiply hundred will be here, and twenty will be here. Clear, everyone. And then it was like I'm directly solving it. So it was like zero to zero. It was cancelled, and two fives are it is ten. 
So answer was five. Got it? Everyone? Yes, ma'am. Just note it down. Okay, whatever formula you feel like, sorry, whatever formula you feel like it is a good, just write first money multiplier and then solve it. It has two ways. One is this and second one is this. If you feel like this is the easiest one, go for it. If you feel like this one is easy, you can go for it. This one, how you can solve is 1 upon 0 0.2. That means 1 upon 2 upon 10. Okay, so what I did then, 1 multiply by 10 upon Two. So it was five. Clear, everyone? Everyone, students? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. And total deposit is very much easy. If you know initial deposit, I guess everyone know it is how it was thousand and money will multiply. The answer was five. So the one thousand multiplied by five that is five thousand. Just quickly write it down. Then I'll just explain you other thing. Everyone done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, done. Okay, great. Now moving to here. See, you have to just find out this. I got uh, everyone for, uh, find out this. This was total deposit. Total and deposit. So after this, 5,000. See, total deposit is, sorry. Total deposit is 5,000 rupees. I cannot believe this. 5,000 rupees. Okay. So in after that, 20% of 5,000 rupees. 20% of 5,000 rupees. So it will be 20 upon 100 multiplied by 5,000. So that will be 0 and 0 cancel. That will be 1,000 rupees. And this is CRR. That means LRR which you have to reserve. And after that, you will subtract 1,000 rupees from 5,000 rupees. And your loan, you can give the loan amount of 4,000 rupees. Clear everyone? I hope this table is clear to everyone now. Yes, teacher. Okay, so for next class, what I will do, I'll just give, uh, just remember this table. Next class, I'll give you a scenario. Like, for example, I'll give you a scenario. I told you the initial, I'll, I'll define two things. I'll mention initial deposit and I'll mention you the cash reserve. 
okay so after that you will draw a table and you will tell me what was your total deposit and what was your money multiplier clear everyone so pre prepare and i'm just giving you a homework over here i'm oh, sorry you can try you what you can do you can try it initial deposit you can keep 2000 rupees okay and legal reserve ratio you can take 10% okay everyone note it down and just try it after this class just try to make your own table okay and forward it to your counselor or you can directly forward it to in my whatsapp number i'll just check it and i'll just let you know whether you people have because this was a my this was my table okay just take this example 2000 and legal reserve is 10% and try to formulate a table everyone got it yes ma'am no. any doubt till now students you got to know how see deposit was 1000 rupees but you can see how it became 5000 rupees it is due to money multiplier because this is the most important ingredient i'll repeat myself in the next class don't worry but try to make a table like this everything will be same initial deposit will be 2000 rupees and legal reserve will be 10% so what you will do 10% of 2000 rupees whatever it comes you will write over here and you will subtract this amount from this it will be loan and then loan will be again the first deposit and you will uh, what you will do 10% of this amount and then subtract it this and this will be the new deposit then 10% of this here and af after that subtract and after that this you have to find first you have to take out money multiplier then you have to find out total deposit once you got total deposit then you will do 10% of total deposit and whatever the answer come you will subtract and the loan will be here clear everyone yes ma'am yes okay ma yeah. it was easy or it was difficult students everyone was easy others got it or adru yes ma'am it maryam wrote it adab amosh yes ma'am got it, it yes, was easy got the concept because in exam it will be directly maybe they will give you initial deposit and the legal reserve ratio or maybe they'll ask you with the help of example okay edukam okay with the help of example just uh, mention these and these things okay so do revise everything next in our next class i'll repeat myself because this concept is very much important plus i will give you a theoretical part as well just a minute i'll just share my screen i'll just give you a homework everyone just take a screenshot of this everyone done okay so basically this is this is the self study support you are getting right now you will start you will read it out okay and in next class it is nothing see money multiplier is the amount of money that the bank is able to create in the form i'll explain this but this is the process how we did okay so this is what the initial deposit was 1000 llr was 20% that is 200 rupees and the bank can keep 20% reserve and lend lend means giving loan okay borrowing is taking money lending is giving someone so it is 800 rupees the amount received loan has just put back into the bank and it was a fresh deposit just read it down and in the next class we will discuss this because know, along know. because along with your table you have to write this as well okay clear